Here are some extra second year housing tips from a second year who went through the pain of finding a house last year. Number one, ask current second or third years about their houses in societies, on their course, wherever you can find them. They're really helpful. They'll help you find stuff. I found my house through a second year last year and it really helped me out. Number two, bills included is usually more expensive and not usually actually that worth it. If you use a shower a lot, if you use a tumble dryer a lot, it might be worth it, but this is not usually the case. Just go bills excluded and you'll be fine. Number three, consider your current flatmates if you get on. I live with my current flatmates from last year at the moment and it's worked out really well. Sometimes the best friends that you make at uni are not the best people to live with because they're either too fun or too messy. So if you've got a good relationship at the moment with your current flatmates, why not move in with them? Number four, closer to campus is 10,000 times better. I don't know how to describe this, but as a second year at the moment, the people who have to walk longer is genuinely, it's a pain. Be as close to campus as you can. Number five, go to people's houses you know. Genuinely, if you've got society events, have a look around people's houses, um, see who their landlords are, just get in touch with people and have a look around and see what you like. Arrange viewings as early as possible. So hop on the websites, hop on wherever you can and arrange as many viewings as you can of houses. Um, go around with your flatmates. If you can't, take as many photos as you can and send them on to kind of their current flatmates, but this is such a good tip. Private halls are expensive and they can be lonelier. However, they do have perks like gyms and all bills included, etc. As a rule of thumb, I'd look for a house first if you've got like a predefined group to move in with. However, they might be a good option if you're on your own or you haven't found people that you want to live with. And finally, Overheard, such a useful place. Hop on Facebook, hop on the Overheard and you'll see loads of houses and loads of private landlords who won't advertise anywhere else. Genuinely, good deals on here and there's usually private landlords which are really easy to deal with.